Hey there, Star Wars fans. Jonesy the Mandalorian here again from the Hyperspace Database, the show that highlights the secret history and trivia of Star Wars ships, technology, alien species, TV shows, movies, and more. Today's topic, the Hyena-class Droid Bomber. The Hyena-class Droid Bomber was developed by the Boktoid Armor Workshop, specifically for the CIS during the Clone Wars, and was the virtual technical successor to the Vulture-class Droid Starfighter. The Hyena Droid Bomber was one of the variations on the Boktoid Droid Fighter, used by the CIS during the Clone Wars against the forces of the Galactic Republic. The ship was a much cheaper variant of many other bombers, and as such they were designed to be mass-produced and expendable when it came right down to it. The ship was a technical successor to the Vulture Droid Fighter, seen in the attack on Naboo in The Phantom Menace as well as in the Clone Wars animated TV show. The Hyena Bomber was mainly used for air-to-surface as well as capital ship bombing runs but could also be used as a heavy starfighter when necessary. The hyena was also capable of transforming to become a mobile walker when on land, much like its vulture droid predecessor, and would then decimate ground forces with its laser cannons. Since the ships were more heavily armored than their vulture droid counterparts, they were tougher to take down, and Republic pilots had to eliminate them first in engagements or suffer significant losses due to their heavier armament. The ships were much rarer than the popular vulture droid, probably because of their more varied arsenal and heavier armor, so they were not involved in as many engagements as their cheaper counterparts. However, this did not mean that the Hyena Bomber was limited when it came to combat, as it saw involvement in many major skirmishes during the Clone Wars. The ships were seen throughout many planets in the Clone Wars TV show, but were initially introduced during the Battle of Christophsis fighting against the flagship Invincible, commanded by Admiral Trench of the CIS. They were later seen attempting to shoot down a recon ship carrying Jedi Ayla Secura over the planet Florum, and then later were seen trying to destroy a slave processing facility on the planet Kadavo. Hyena bombers were responsible for carpet bombing Twi'lek villages on Ryloth, in defiance of the Free Ryloth movement led by Cham Syndulla. And then later they nearly suicide ran into Mace Windu and Wat Tambor before being destroyed by Anakin and Ahsoka. Since the ship carried a much heavier payload than other droid fighters, it sometimes was used as a suicide bomber instead, such as when it was used for that exact purpose at the Battle of Sullust, when Darth Sidious told Count Dooku to eliminate his rogue apprentice Asajj Ventress, though Ventress would later escape to the planet Dathomir. The hyena bombers were then dispatched to eliminate the entire Dathomiri Night Sister clan, and soften the defenses of the Night Sisters before the ground invasion began. Besides all of their notable appearances in the Clone Wars TV show, the Hyena-class bombers were also a flyable unit in the new Battlefront 2 video game, where they were capable of advanced maneuvers and other great feats in the Starfighter Assault mode of gameplay. The Hyena-class bomber was an effective advanced droid starfighter for the Confederacy of Independent Systems, and served well in its role of advanced bomber as well as starfighter during the tumultuous events of the Clone Wars. And that nearly wraps up this episode, but stick around again for some secret trivia. Did you like it? Be sure to check out my other videos as well. Hit those like and subscribe buttons and the bell to be notified every time I publish a new video. Be sure to select all notifications to never miss an episode. And you can check me out on social media for more news and channel updates. Be sure to let me know in the comments what you thought of this and just chat with me because I'd love to talk to you guys too. Thank you so much for your support and we'll see you next time.